If some firearms instructors say this bill is a step in the right direction for Second Amendment rights, but OSBI says they've got several concerns for the safety of Oklahomans. If Governor Fallon signs Senate Bill 1212, firearms instructor Jeremiah Blazy says he believes this will be a step in the right direction. I think responsible people will do what responsible people do. They'll seek the training, they'll seek to do it safely, and they'll do it properly. Blazy and his business partner teach concealed carry classes. Blazy says if the bill is signed, there may be fewer people taking concealed carry classes, but he believes more people will take advantage of higher level classes. People will be more interested in getting good training in order to be able to carry their firearms safely, carry them effectively, and understand how to use them in a defensive manner. He does not believe this will make anyone less safe. OSBI says the bill makes background checks less extensive. We do a fingerprint-based background search. We also check um, additional uh, databases and so forth. We check mental health records, all of those things to determine whether or not to issue somebody a permit. OSBI says if this bill passes, there's no way for officers to tell who's carrying a gun legally versus illegally. They also say it would impact the agency financially with projected budget cuts of nearly $5 million. Agency-wide, the ripple effect that this will have and how that affects uh, citizens and their safety in Oklahoma. If signed, this bill would make Oklahoma the 14th state to not require a permit to carry a handgun. Now I called Tulsa Police, the Sheriff's Office, and the Fraternal Order of Police all decided not to comment up at this time. For now, live on the scene on the story in Tulsa, Justin Schreer, News on 6.